The Energize RI Act would establish a fee on companies that sell fossil fuels in Rhode Island, paid at the po initial point of sale within the state. It would create a clean energy and jobs fund to disperse the collected funds from the fee that was collected. The funds would be dispersed through rebates to all residents of Rhode Island and businesses, as well as allocated to climate resilience, energy efficiency, energy conservation, and renewable energy programs that benefit Rhode Islanders, particularly low-income residential properties and small business properties. 70% of the fund would be returned via rebates, 30% of which um, to businesses based on the number of employees, and 40% fund the residents of Rhode Island um, through a rebate that would uh, either at tax time they would receive a rebate on their taxes or if they don't have to pay taxes they would actually get a check. 25% of the fund would be used for green energy efficiencies and projects that I mentioned above. Um, the estimates are that it will create 2,000 jobs in the first two years. To make this a regional effort, I know some people have been discussing that um, in their concerns. This bill has a, included a trigger, whereas it would not take effect until one of our neighboring states with five million residents implemented a carbon pricing fee. So for example, if Massachusetts um, were to, to pass this legislation, and uh, it would kick in here, but not until then. As more residents and businesses move toward renewable energy, for example, through the purchase of hybrid or electric cars, or through solar or other green energy for electricity and heating, the more they will benefit from these rebates, since they will be paying less for the fossil fuels they use, but will still be able to get the rebates. I believe this bill will help us toward meeting the requirements of the Resilient Rhode Island Act, and I hope you would consider it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator.